What's up, y'all? This your boy, K. Ward, and welcome to another edition of the Chop Shop, brought to you by Fingers Lefty Percussion. Today, we are going to be doing a comparison between the Evans G2 time head and the Evans EC2S time head. So, yo, y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. We back. Today, like I said, we're gonna be reviewing the Evans G2 time head against the Evans EC2S time head. Right here, I got the Evans G2 coated time head. Evans G2 heads are very versatile for many styles of drumming and they're very durable. The Evans G2s are made with two plies of seven mil film. That's a total of 14 mil and they are coated. I don't think you really need dampening on it. Um, I got dampening on them when I do the sound, but you don't, you don't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? So yo, let's check out the G2 under fire on the set. Here we go. There you go the Evans G2 head sound pretty good right I thought so but I just want to add this in they changed the style like this is the newer version of the Evans G2 in case you're ordering this is the newer version it's just that long box with the G2 on it so with the older version you might see the level 360 that's the older version. They don't they don't have these anymore. I when I was trying to order them, order some replacements, all they have is this one. And as you can see, it's a it's a difference in the uh, trademark, the uh, head. See what I'm saying? So look, this is the same head as the older version. All right, just to give y'all that information. Anyway, now we're gonna talk about the Evans EC2S which contains the two plies of seven mil film, just like the G2, 14 total, you know what I'm saying? And the difference between these two is that the EC2S has the SST system, which is the sound sharing technology, the ring right here. You know what I'm saying? It's like a dampening ring. You know, it helps with tuning ease and the quality of sound. The rings control the edge ring 
vibration. You know, instead of eliminating it, the rings isolate and dampen the higher overtones, enhancing the low end quality and the attack. Expect great resonance, punch, and durability with the EC2S. Let's check it out. So there you go. We tried the G2 and the EC2S. Me, myself, personally, I like both of them. And I'll tell you why. With the e, with the G2, the G2 has, it seemed like it was a compressor on it. The sound was more, it was like more tighter, if you get what I'm saying. So I would use that for like studio application. With the EC2S, it was a more brighter, louder sound with more ring resonance to it, like I was telling you. So I would use that for live situations, and I might use it for some studio situations, depending on what the engineer wants. I like both of them. So let's do this. Y'all tell me what y'all like, and we can fuss about it in the comments like y'all like to do anyway. You know what I'm saying? All friendly, though. All friendly, though. So, yo, that's it for today's episode. Don't forget, chop shop rules. Always stay positive. Always know you can be the best. Always practice. Y'all know what I mean by practice. We're talking about practice, man. And most important, always stay humble. Please stay humble. All right? Don't forget, have hands, we'll travel. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Help your boy out. And also, if you have anything you want me to review, any products, anything you want me to do, leave them in the comments below also. You know what I'm saying? That's what the deal is. Until next time, we'll see you. Peace.